Good morning, everyone. Mm. No, it's not coffee. It's not morning. It's after 11 o'clock. It's hot chocolate with Cool Whip in it. Yummy. And I'm not so pretty today. Don't have makeup on and I didn't do my hair and I'm wearing sweats because they're comfortable and it's cold in here. It's 62. I know. I, all I have to do is turn my heat on. But I don't know. I'm just being cheap. But I'm going to go lay down on the couch and I have a heated blanket on the couch with another blanket that I, I lay on top of the heated blanket and then I cover up with my nice cozy blanket and it keeps me nice and warm. I'm the only one that lives in this house so it's not like I have children to keep warm or even anyone else. And so, so I'm sitting here like this with my sleeves inside each other and I have been busy all day editing video and making a card which I just tried to download the video from the card I made and it got lost somewhere it's gone so I might just do a video on it to share and tell you what I did but here's the card I'm gonna tell you guys first because you guys are really more I mean a lot of you are also subscribed to me on my craft channel but that just makes you all more important to me because you want to see me every day not just for the craft videos that you want to get into my personal life and for some reason I appreciate that appreciate the comments you give me and everything else oh this is not working out so well this adhesive on this I'm gonna show ya Here's my card. This is for Kim, a girl I work with. And she has a smiley face sticker on her car, I think. And she likes peace signs. So that's why I did that for her. But this orange piece is from this. It's adhesive. I've never used it before. It's adhesive cardstock. Okay, I bought this like two years ago. So maybe that's why it's not working so well. And I kind of messed up the card because of it. Well, anyway, this is, I stamped inside the card. Isn't that pretty? Look. I finally decided to open this up and I use this. I've never used that before. I bought it, I, I don't know if it was on clearance or I know it was on sale. It's so pretty. Look what it did. And then I used it on the back and my stamp wasn't big enough to go across all three so I did it at an angle. Can you see it? And I love it. Well, the problem, the problem with the paper is it was like doing this and now I have to take this to her tomorrow so I'm gonna I have to run some adhesive under there and first it was coming off down here so I thought well I'll just use glue there's a reason I don't use glue when I make cards but I wasn't thinking because look at the top see how wrinkled it is it's from the glue so then I cut out this paper and I thought can I, I can just put that there to cover up the glue marks and it says can you dig it peace love flower child because it is working. she never watches my videos and I did the edges with that ink I just like went like this and this and this and this and I just dab the edges in it I kind of like it. And here's the envelope I made her. Isn't that cool? Oh, and now I have 4,849 subscribers, I think, on my craft channel. So I almost have my 5,000 subscribers. Thanks, guys. And I have so been editing my haunted house scene. I got one video out, but I have one or two more. I'm not sure. I'm trying to edit them so they're shorter. And not three hours long each. I'm trying. Let me show you what else I've been working on today that I did not do a video on. And I'm not going to do a video on. Well, maybe except this one. So my client, Kathy, gives me these shoes. And in here, it's finally dry. It did have satin, like a gray satin, and it was missing a marquee-shaped rhinestone right here. And you could, it was kind of brown there where it was missing. She asked me if I could find some rhinestones to fit in there or 
do something to make them nice again. So I found this package. This was the package from Michaels. And these three rhinestones came on here. And first, I just left the shoes as they were and was going to stick the rhinestone in there. But because the other rhinestone that was there before was a little bit bigger, you could tell and it kind of looked bad. So I thought I would put the Studio G glitter glue just around it and then I was thinking no that kind of looks like what I did like it looks like someone was crafting to fix the shoe I wanted them to look like they came that way so I used a toothpick and I put it around try to do it pretty thin because I had to like go inside here and I put it up around and got it even and this was perfect for that. The color was, because I didn't want bright silver, and I didn't want black. And this kind of was perfect. Uh, does, these don't have names on them. They're just the color. So I'm going to hot glue that gem in there. And on here, I'm going to give them to her tomorrow. I have to go back to work tomorrow. It's nice. I kind of just work like every other day. But when I'm home, I'm working all day. I'm trying to edit videos and make you stuff. And now I want to get back to my hot chocolate and get to bed. Hopefully this video will work and I won't lose it like I did the one for my card. I will see you tomorrow in another video. I really do love you guys. Bye. I'm going to put Mercy across it and some of my Mercy will be popped up and some of it won't. First, I'm going to take this paper. 